Hi guys, welcome back to the Call Java tutorial part 2. Here Prabish with you. In the previous part of this tutorial, I demonstrate how to download JDK and how to install JDK in your computer. It is necessary to set up JDK setup environment variable in your computer for invoking the Java compiler. In this part, I am going to explain how to set up the uh, Java environment variable in your computer. For setting up Java environment variable, just go to the Windows directory, go to the program files. In program files, you can see a folder called the Java is present there. Open up that folder. Again, you can see two folders are present, JDK and JRE. JDK is the folder containing the Java compiler. JRE is the Java runtime environment or it is the folder containing all the files for the JVM. Just open up JDK. Again, JDK containing a folder called the bin folder is present there. Open up that folder. You can see a lot of DLL files are present in the bin folder. These are the files necessary for the Java compiler. Uh, guys, you can see here a path called my computer, JD, local disk C, program files, Java, JDK, bin. This is the path of the Java compiler. I just copy this path. Now I just uh, go to the properties of my computer. In the system property, you can see a option called advanced system settings are present here. Just go to it. Here another window is appear. You can see a variable setting up here. Uh, an environment variable button is present here. Just click that. Again, an environment variable setup window is appear. In that option, you can see a, f a f button called the edit button is present there. Just click that button. Again, another window is appear. Guys, I am already setting up my Java path in my computer. If you are first setting up, just type path and paste that and paste the address we are already copied here and click OK. OK. After doing all these steps, you are successfully uh, set up Java environment variable in your computer. For checking whether it is success or not, just uh, go to the run option and type CMD. Now you can see the command prompt window is appear here. Just type a command Java C. Java C is the command for invoking the Java compiler. Guys, you can see a lot of folder options are present here. A lot of folders and subdirectories are showing here. These are the folders and directories of my Java compiler. Uh, that means my Java compiler is now ready to compile a Java program. If it has an error. Uh, then, when you compiling, Java, when you type Java C, the system will show that Java C is not recognized as an internal command, or it is not recognized as valid command. If such a situation is occur, you can again go to that uh, path variable and setting up there, setting up it again. Okay, guys. After doing this step, you are successfully set up the Java path, Java environment variable path in your computer. Uh, there is another way also present for setting up the Java variable path. If you are planning to compile a Java program in your D drive, guys, this is an alternative way for setting up the Java path. Just type path and set the path here in this double quotes. Okay, now you are successfully setting up the Java compiler path in your D drive. For checking it, just compile, just type Java C. Again, you can see 
all the directories of java compiler are present now present at the d drive that means it is possible to compile a program in d drive success successfully with your java compiler this is an alternative way to set up the java path guys this is the, the second method is the most proper method for setting up java variable setup because in the if you are going for the first path that is not a good programming practice that will affect other system variables also so go for this second i recommended the second method for setting up the java path uh, okay guys thank you for watching if you know further about this all these things i am starting a blog i am already started a, a blog called uh, easy way to go to blogspot.com if you want to know more about all these things just go to this blog Okay guys thank you for watching and see you in the next part of this tutorial